tonight. We're waiting to find out if suspected killer Dwight Mills gets out of jail. A judge heard conflicting testimony this morning about Mills and News 4's Jacqueline Lambert is at the Houston County Courthouse. Jacqueline, good evening. Good evening, Kinsley. Dwight Mills believes despite a charge for the murder of his wife, a $1.5 million bond is excessive. In a Houston County courtroom, family and friends of Dwight Mills took the stand to defend him. Several witnesses from the Dothan Baptist Church, uh, including the pastor, that Mr. Mills was very instrumental in, in that church, and influenced them to, get, to attend church, influencing their Christianity, including uh, professional, teaching them how to, to be a good professional. And uh, of course, he's retired from Fort Rucker. However, police investigator Terry Nelson says they have vast evidence that Mills killed his wife Sharon 22 years ago and dumped her body. Nelson took the stand saying that Mills' story has been inconsistent. Investigator Nelson says evidence such as the blood found in his vehicle points to Mills being the killer. I wasn't impressed. Uh, it seemed the evidence was all based on his opinion. And as you know, we get in front of a jury, his opinion is not admissible. Uh, but today was all on opinion. There was no no evidence at all whatsoever that our client's guilty of anything. Person and attorney Terry Bullard believe evidence points to Sharon's ex-husband Larry, who lived with the couple at the time, to being the killer. Larry passed away in 2006. But he's entitled to a reasonable bail, a reasonable bond. I think right now it's 1.5 million. Yes. And that certainly is unreasonable for somebody who's had no altercation with the law whatsoever. So we're hoping that the judge... Uh, gives us a good decision today. Prosecutor Michaela Tillery Pope told Judge Benjamin Lewis that De Dwight Mills is a danger to the public. Live in front of the Houston County Courthouse, Jacqueline Lambert for your hometown news leader. Jacqueline Lambert, thank you for sharing the latest. And we are going to continue to follow this, of course, prior to filing a report regarding his wife. Investigators say Mills removed Sharon from their life insurance.